To summarize, figures 10-5a and 10-6a illustrate the alternate positions of the arrow. The significance of the welding symbol in each case is illustrated by figures 10-5b and 10-6b. That's what this symbol looks like here in the significance of the appearance. You see, the arrow's on this side and the weld is on the arrow side at the bottom. So the weld is on this side. And now the arrow is here and the weld is on the other side. And since it was pointing here, it's gonna go to this side and that's how that looks. Note that the vertical leg of the fillet weld symbol is always shown drawn to the left of the slanted leg. This is the left of the leg, slanted leg, vertical side. It's always to the left. Even on this one, look. Figure 10-5, fillet weld, arrow side. Arrow side. Now, figure 10, Dash six, fillet weld, other side. You see how now it's on the top on the other side. And since the arrow's on this side, it'd be on this side, but it's on the other side. So that's why you weld on the other side. And on this example, since the weld symbol is on the arrow side and the arrow's pointing this way, you see that it'd be the same piece, right? So it's welded on this side because it's on the arrow side. When weld symbols are placed on both sides, of the reference line, the welds must be made on both sides of the joint, figures 10-7 and 10-8. That's figure 10-7, one joint fillet weld. That's what it looks like. It's telling you wants fillet welds on both sides, on the arrow side and on the other side. Arrow side, other side. Now, figure 10 8 shows two joint fillet welds. So here what it says is, from the top, let's go on the top one first. It's pretty much uh, simulating this one, right? But either way, that's the arrow. It wants two fillet welds, one on the arrow side, one on the other side. One on the arrow side, and then you have the other side. And now the bottom, it tells you the exact same thing. In this instance now, the arrow side is on this side, so it'd be this side. But it wants two fillet welds, one on the arrow side, which is always under the arrow, and one on the other side, which is on top of the arrow. So you have one on the arrow side and one on the other side. And that's what those look like.